The Mars Rover design team at Missouri s and has been hard at work since URC 2023. Made up of scientists, engineers, and business specialists, our team has been focused on designing, analyzing, and testing systems capable of completing URC missions. The Mars Rover design team is proud to present our 12th rover, Hyperion. Our base station has been expanded and divided into three distinct modules by migrating our previous GUI application to a robust web server architecture. Leveraging Vite as our hosting solution, the server integrates all features previously employed by a RED application for control of Hyperion. This modular base station can be adapted for each different mission and mitigates delays from relying on a single control interface. Our signals overhaul aims for higher data rates, increased range, and better reliability. A managed network switch optimizes data flow through 900 MHz and 5.8 GHz spans, while the rotating signal stack improves signal transmission and reception. This boosts available bandwidth for eight simultaneous camera streams over a UDP-based video streamer, available from any device on Hyperion's network for near real-time video in our control application. Hyperion's new iteration of our custom Mantis suspension features optimized composite structures, telescoping signal masks, and simplified mounting systems. Our team uses in-house manufacturing techniques to fabricate our lightweight yet robust rover, capable of navigating tight paths, scaling steep inclines, and withstanding vertical drops. Powered by a custom 6S8P battery, Hyperion's distributed electrical architecture includes individual cell voltage, current, and temperature sensing. The power distribution system offers current sensing for each power connection on the rover. Camera gimbals offer extensive viewing coverage of Hyperion and the surrounding environment during operation. Paired with our new Cartesian robotic arm, the rover can locate, carry, and deliver objects across various terrains. Accompanying Hyperion will be our team's first ever drone, featuring a custom-made X-frame, cube orange flight controller, and 30 minutes of flight time. The drone is currently being developed for teleoperation and autonomous capabilities to help aid our rover in the successful completion of the delivery mission. Hyperion's new Cartesian robotic arm is comprised of four linear and two rotational axes, providing the control, strength, and range of motion necessary for fine manipulation. Each axis features a brush DC motor energized using the H-Bridge method implemented on custom breakout PCBs, allowing for easy maintenance during testing. The arm utilizes both absolute and quadrature encoder feedback for reliable closed loop and five-dimensional inverse kinematic control. Limit switches at the end stops of each linear axis serve for startup calibration and as protective measures in case of encoder failure. Our dual end effector design includes an underactuated gripper for lifting and transporting heavy objects, alongside a multifunctional utility end effector for precise operations. Cameras mounted at the back of the rover and arms end facilitate closer visual inspection and easier object alignment, enabling Hyperion to perform the dexterous tasks necessary for equipment servicing mission. This year, our code base has been rewritten in C++ and is designed for peak performance and modularity through the use of a multi-threaded active object design, enabling important features to maintain a high refresh rate regardless of data demand from other threads. The rover's differential GPS enables precise point-to-point -point navigation. A Z2i stereo camera, two Z-minis, and a fisheye camera are used to detect surrounding objects and air tags. For navigation, an A-star pathfinder is used to chart the shortest path around obstacles to a goal waypoint. Then, a lateral Stanley controller guides the rover along this path, and differential drive inverse kinematics command the rover's drivetrain in an intuitive manner. After arriving at a waypoint, the rover will enter a customizable search pattern to scan the surrounding area. Cameras will continuously search for AR tags and objects using OpenCV's Aruko library, and a set of custom-trained YOLO models. Finally, an LED matrix signals the autonomous state of the rover, enabling Hyperion to complete the autonomous navigation task. For the science mission, Hyperion utilizes a new science system with two single-axis Cartesian gantries. Onboard cameras document wide-angle and high-resolution pictures for the investigation of multiple sites, while locations and elevations are retrieved from our rover's differential GPS. The system is equipped with a microscope for soil analysis and spectroscopic instruments designed for life detection, including a custom-built Raman spectrometer and a reflectance spectrometer. These instruments enable the identification of mineral samples, amino and nucleic acids, complex organic and biological structures, and organic solvents within a sample. For a site of particular interest, an onboard auger extracts a soil sample up to 15 centimeters below the surface. The sample is then securely cached in a container, distinguishing soil depth for later evaluation. Leading up to URC, our team is not only refining Hyperion through rigorous testing, but also maintaining a focus on R&D projects, including structural composites, a custom FDIR spectrometer, and more driving innovation and pushing the boundaries of our systems. We thank you for your consideration to compete this summer.